Hello and welcome to the August Stargazing Guide. During August, Cygnus the Swan is above our heads. Its stars make a huge cross shape and it can be found in the Milky Way disk. In one Greek myth, Cygnus and best friend Phaeton were both racing their chariots in the sky. And when they flew too close to the sun, the chariot burned up and Phaeton was killed. Cygnus was so devastated that Zeus took pity on him and turned him into a swan and placed him in the stars. Lyra the Liar, from our July guide, can still be seen during August. Its owner, Orpheus, the mythical musician, used its magic to protect Jason and his Argonauts. He did this by playing his powerful music to drown out the dangerous songs of the sirens and so stopped the sailors from falling under their spell. Another August highlight can be found near to Cygnus in the Milky Way. Aquila is a large constellation and its stars make up a shape that looks like an eagle. Aquila was Greek god Zeus's messenger and had the dangerous job of carrying and fetching the thunderbolts that grumpy old Zeus hurled at his enemies. The best way to find our last constellation, Sagittarius the Archer, is by looking for its asterism, the teapot. Now, teapots aren't often thought of as deadly weapons, but this one is. It forms part of the bow of Sagittarius and points an arrow in the direction of the Antares, the red supergiant star at the heart of Scorpius. There are two supermoons this August. The first is on the first, and this full moon is known as the Sturgeon Moon by the fishing tribes in Native American culture. The second full moon in a month is called a blue moon, and you can spot Augusts on the 31st. I hope you enjoy the August skies and look forward to seeing you again in September for some more stargazing.